Hi guys, this will be a different video. In this video, I will be sharing my experience on what difficulties that I faced while giving my AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional exam. So what happened was, my exam was on 21st of Jan, that is uh, two months back now. Now March is going on. So on 21st, it was a Saturday and I gave my exam at 11.45 a.m. in the morning. And uh, I know that AWS would be providing my results within 24 hours as they did when my associate exam was there. So I waited for 24 hours, but still my results weren't out. And also my colleague, she also gave the same exam that too in the evening and her results were out, but not mine. So I was going through my mail uh, every now and then, but still I wasn't able to find any mail from Credly, not from AWS. So I got panicked. So I was thinking what has happened. So I jumped to this support page of AWS, wherein you can contact PS in PUE or AWS support. So I decided to talk with PS in PUE guys. So they told that uh, they don't have the results with them. So now you have to wait or contact AWS support. So I did that also. I went to the support page. So here are the three or four questions. So they are only explain, explaining stuff saying that within 24 hours or five business days. So mostly results go, get out within 24 hours. So if there is any problem or they need to check your result, they will take more than that. So I got a worry. Uh, so I got a little worried and I submitted these details and submitted this form. So after I did that within 10 or 15 minutes, I got this mail from AWS, that certification training team. They were saying that at this time, your exam is, is under review. And once the review is done, your result pass fail or invalidated. Invalidated is also there. So I got a little worried. And uh, but uh, they I wasn't able to do anything. And also they wrote here, this review may take up to three weeks. So now this is something bothering. So now we can't do anything because uh, there was only option to wait at this time. So what I did was uh, I waited and uh, 24th or 22nd of Jan. So I'll show you the date exactly. Okay. 21st was my exam and uh, on Saturday. 22nd I received this mail on Wednesday morning, right after three days. I got another mail. I got a response from AWS saying that uh, your AWS certification exam. So this huge mail, I knew that there is something wrong. If I would have passed, so there would be a mail in the subject stating that congratulations. So now I started reading this. So you're seeing that performed uh, investigation and your exam is under, okay, under your certification account ID and all. And they told that AWS detected statistical anomalies in your exam performance. And they say that you abide by the certification of AWS and all. And based on the anomalies in your exam performance, AWS cannot validate my exam results. And they have been validated in my exam. So now uh, I have not passed. So they won't give me any badge or stuff. So now they are seeing that a satisfaction has occurred during the on -viewy. So all my future exams should be in Pearson View it test center. So I gave this exam from my home and they told that you must retake the ACP exam at a physical view center no longer than 30 days. So this mail was received on 25th of Jan. So within 30 days, I had to give the exam at a test center. So now I'll uh, hide the other stuff because it is confidential and uh, that's it. So now this terms and condition and that's it. So now I had to, I gave a response to them as well that I scheduled my exam on February 18. So nothing, I had to reschedule the exam once again and uh, on at a test center. So there I gave my exam and uh, on 18th of February, I gave my exam. So I'll just tell you again what happened. Here we are on 18th of Feb. On 18th of Feb, again, I waited for 24 hours, but on 19th, still my results weren't out. So I had to wait again around the wait, made me wait until Thursday. So Thursday morning on night, I get this mail 
stating that congratulations on passing your EWS certification exam. And after that, uh, also one more mail was there that you have re-rectified architect exam as well because this was the exam I gave one year back. So if I wasn't able to pass this exam at test center, so I think they would have taken down that certification as well. So you need to be careful about that. And uh, yeah, so these are all the benefits. And then yeah, this is the badge itself. So it took me around one, one, one and a half month for this exam stuff and six months of preparation prior to that. And uh, yeah, so this badge, I'm getting it over here from Threadly. So that's it. This was my experience while giving this uh, solution architect professional exam. And uh, majorly they invalidate your result on the basis of uh, statistical anomalies as in they would explain it as uh, saying that you are marking the answers too quickly or uh, tukka. What uh, many people do is at the end of the exam, they quickly mark any of the answers and they think that how can a uh, person mark these answers within few seconds or 10 seconds because it is a big question, right? So these would be the major problems. Anyways, if you face any such issues, you can reach me out at LinkedIn as well. So this is my profile. I have linked this thing in my description as well. You can reach me out at the comment section and my LinkedIn profile. Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a good day.